Before a legend. Before a superstar. Before a story. Before a championship victory. A record-breaking run. A jaw-dropping turn. There's possibility. Possibility. An opportunity to step outside of yourself and to step into something greater. Whether it's proving to the doubters that you have what it takes. I'm here. I'm doing the work. Or proving to yourself that you know who you are and where you belong. We weren't asking for your permission. But to finish the story, you have to begin. And make it your own from who you are. To the choices you make along the way. And replace possibility with legend. Because this... This is your story. Welcome to The Bump and what is shaping up to be the most chaotic SummerSlam week in WWE history. I'm Byron Saxon. And I'm Kayla Braxton. Less than a week before defending the undisputed WWE Universal Championship against Cody Rhodes in a brand versus brand main event at SummerSlam, Roman Reigns shocked the world and surrendered his title. The head of the table said that he's been beating up Cody for years now and he has nothing more to prove. Now he's taking a sabbatical in Hollywood to show his cousin, The Rock, that he will be a bigger superstar there too. With SummerSlam in disarray and the draft set to begin the night after, Triple H called for a one-night WWE Universal title tournament with selections from the GMs of both Raw and SmackDown. Raw GM William Regal named Cody as Raw's first entrant and said he was confident the title would be coming to Raw. But SmackDown's brand new general manager, The Miz, didn't find this awesome. He called the attempt to take his WWE Universal Championship to Raw nothing short of theft. And The Miz is in it to win it for his brand. He's sending a team of killers to bring that title home. Let's take a look. Kayla, we know what Braun Strowman brings to a fight. AJ Styles is always a threat. If you ask me, though, KO is the man to beat in this whole tournament. He's been hungry for the opportunity. Reigns has left him here. That sounds like he was waiting for crumbs from Roman's table, Byron. William Regal's entries are no slouches. Finn Balor was the first Universal Champion. Much of the WWE Universe believes this is Gunter's time. And Cody Rhodes has been looking to finish the story for a while now. That last slot, though, Kayla, what is Regal's strategy there? William Regal still has one foot in developing young superstars. Raw's GM is going to make a match on the SummerSlam kickoff show for that last slot in the tournament. Your guy, Kevin Owens. I mean, I wouldn't call him my guy. Your guy is not going to know his opponent until the winner of that match, and neither will we. Don't blow yourself up, young man. You're apt to have a long night. Mr. Regal. Coming in early to help the ring crew, running the ropes while everyone else is still at the hotel, it makes an impression. Thanks. I do my best. Do you? What do you mean? Do you do your best? Apply yourself. You sound like my old math teacher. Well, you came to Raw more than a year ago now and you've yet to make much of an impression. No titles, no great rivalries, a win-loss record with just enough victories to fly under the radar. A uh, great pep talk? Let me finish. I see your potential. The question is, if you're ready to fulfill it. I'm ready. Good, because as you know, 
There's a tournament for the WWE Universal Championship tonight. The final slot for Raw will be decided in a match on the kickoff show. One of the combatants will be Dominic Mysterio. That young man has a future, a legacy, a name. The other competitor is you. Thank you, sir. So much. I'll bring my best. Good man. See you do. You're the long shot of this whole night, my boy. You're the dark horse. Beat the odds. It's the so-called dark horse of the tournament. The following contest is a qualifying match for the Universal Championship Tournament. Making his way to the ring from Athens, Greece, weighing in at 218 pounds, John Green. Let's not get ahead of ourselves calling this guy the dark horse of the tournament. He's not even officially in it yet. I have to agree with you, Corey. Winning the WWE Universal Championship Tournament will be difficult enough, but to have to win an extra qualifying match first makes it nearly impossible. It's time to find out who will claim the final spot in the WWE Universal Championship Tournament. The second generation superstar looking to carve his own path. It's Dominic Mysterio. And his opponent representing the Judgment Day from San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds. Dirty. Dominic Mysterio! Dominic looks ready to go, but I've heard some rumblings backstage that he's not too thrilled about being placed in this qualifying match. Coming in complaining is the quickest way to sabotage your own chances. Dom needs to put aside his grievances and concentrate on the task at hand. In a moment that can define a career, the road to glory begins right here. One of these men will walk out of this qualifying match with a ticket to the WWE Universal Championship Tournament. 
And we know who it's going to be, Cole. Dirty Dominic Mysterio. He's a hard man who did hard time. Hard time? He spent one night in jail. Show little respect to Dominic's opponent. You really think this guy has got the stuff to follow in Roman Reigns' footsteps, Saxton? He's been called the Dark Horse for a reason. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Oh, kick right to the gut. Boom! It's okay, they weren't that pretty anyway. And Mysterio hasn't quite learned a defense for that attack yet. Oh, right in there. Escape just in time. Ah, oh, Dominic gets cut off. A counter answered by another counter. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. Big boot. This one is headed outside, guys. Down and set up good driver. Some mental chess here from Mysterio. Getting back into the ring. Oh, suicide dive! <laughs> Running knee lift. your opponent on spaghetti legs moving forward. He knew that was coming. Spine Buster! With a sit out. Nasty. Wow. And Dominic is getting the crowd going. Oh! He's reeling, slowly getting up. Oh, what a spear! Can that finish Dominic? Cover! There's two! And that'll about do it, folks. Here is your winner, John Green! We now know who will fill that final spot in the WWE Universal Championship Tournament. What a win. Impressive, but somehow he's going to have to find a way to string together three more victories before the night's over.